Welcome to this uh, Von Kamp Freestyle. Um, this week I'm going to talk about ISO. Um, there's kind of a consensus right now that uh, modern cameras have sufficient ISO sensibility um, for photography in general and that there's no need to enhance that and go further beyond those incredible numbers. Um, but I'm not going to only talk about, you know, you, you've got maybe, uh, you, maybe you want some compact uh, zoom like this, uh, this one with a doubler and have sufficient speed to do some things that's kind of usable even in, with slower light situations but that's not only the problem um, so i'm going to show a few examples um, and try to give you my idea um, if i take for example that that camera that's an us 7d and i had made a test you can find the video online uh, for this holga f8 uh, 60 millimeter lens kind of a toy lens um, very interesting rendering uh, i actually did some low light photography using this lens on an sl2 which was a little bit more uh, sensitive in terms of ISOs, but it was still kind of, yeah, you, you kind of quickly reach uh, the limits of the sensor, um, but not those characteristic of the optics. Um, and if you look at, the, the problem came back to me with this Chroma uh, 24mm f11. It's a great lens, really great rendering, 24mm uh, f11, um, here with two adapters, one an M adapter on an, uh, a thread, a 39 millimeter thread, and then for the L, for the L mount, but it's basically a cap lens, but it's got some really great uh, artistic rendering. And when it goes to low light, even with a more modern uh, sensor, like on the SL2, uh, it's, it kind, it's kind of painful. It's hard to have a uh, coherent, it's also got uh, IBIS, and but it's got difficulties in low light situations um, to make to create an image without too much noise. Um, or here on an old M8, I have this uh, Kex cap lens. Um, uh, again, a very, very, how do you say, a big, um, big, a small aperture with a great uh, depth of field, it's F10. Um, but definitely uh, that's a lens that you could find on those kind of uh, um, recyclable uh, cameras, film cameras of the time, uh, last century. Um, it's got a very special rendering, and it, it's too bad you can't use them in lower light situations or at faster speeds in certain situations, simply because of ISOs. So I, I still think even with those very high ISOs available today, we do need more if we want to to use our, our little lenses, like maybe this one, uh, pinhole lenses. That's a pinhole pro where you can choose the diameter of the of the hole. If you do artistic photography or kind of experimental photography, or just have fun, why would you not give yourself the ability to take pictures in low light with those kind of lenses? Or here's that's Pinot Pro X. I'll probably do a video about those uh, where you can change the distance of the hole um, to the sensor. Very interesting lens, by the way. Um, all those lenses um, would be really put to great use if we could uh, use them in lower light situations and create some really different uh, appearing images. Uh, and also, if you think about it, it's it's also a question of depth of field. Simply, um, it's definitely let me let me do some space. It's definitely here. Here's the SL2 uh, with some Astori uh, lens on it. So that's a more traditional f 2.0 50 millimeter lens, quite open. But there's a reason why we have the aperture ring um, and this diaphragm that uh, opens and closes. You can select the depth of field. You can uh, set what you actually want in focus, um, your hyperfocal distance, which we can see here. And I think that's something we shouldn't forget when we're talking about new, newer cameras, newer sensors that have higher sensibilities. If you want to take pictures with great depths of field in low light situations, like in concert halls or maybe some urban situations by night or urbex, um, why wouldn't we be able to use deeper depths of field uh, for a totally different rendering of scenes we've already seen so many times using uh, way more open apertures. So that's basically my rant. Um, I would uh, propose that constructors, uh, um, the different brands and the sensor manufacturers continue developing higher sensibility ISOs, um, such as we can use lenses like this uh, old Hector um, 6.3 f 6.328 millimeter in very different situations light situations um just for the creative aspect of it and and yeah maybe we're we got use of 
we got used to the lenses of our smartphones, which are basically always fully open. But the diaphragm has a really important impact on the images you make. And I think, um, yeah, we should continue having higher and higher uh, ISO sensitivity sensibilities on our cameras um, in order to access these kinds of new, I would say, how would you say, new universes in, in low light photography. That was a rant. Uh, please comment uh, below and catch you next time.